presenting the FN Expert, a marksmanship training system, development by FN, based in Herstel, Belgium. We are talking about this module, which can be fitted on any type of firearm, from submachine gun over assault rifle. This is to improve the basic uh, training uh, of the, the shooter, which will allow you to, give, to have a full analysis of um, a round, real round fired, or in combination with um, airsoft system, dry firing, blank firing, etc. Here in Nuremberg, Germany, we are showing this system. It has been um, developed already a few years ago, um, but we see that there's a big interest from both police and military units. This um, increases the efficiency of the training, of the marksmanship training. It um, creates much more possibilities of training because you're not linked or limited to a shooting range, which can be out of service, which can be occupied, so no free uh, time slot. Um, it does not depend on the weather. You can do it in a classroom, in an abandoned building, outside. Uh, anything is possible. So here, to be clear, it's a SCAR airsoft weapon, but all you need is either airsoft or live weapon, but with a Picatinny rail, which can be on the top, on the side or the bottom. You can change the orientation of the device by software, or some part of a barrel, onto which you can fit adapter rings. So here you have an FN module, which is fitted on the weapon, and this will send out and receive a light signal, infrared LED, so no laser. On top of that, you need a reflector that can be either a paper target or a dynamic target, which we'll show you uh, both later on. And the software. Software at the moment is free of charge, can be downloaded from uh, our website, and in the future it will normally stay like this. So the only thing you have to buy is the FN module and one or several targets. So here are the two basic uh, targets for training. The one on um, on the left, the, pa the paper type target, allows for basic marksmanship training in, for example, a classroom or on a, a shooting range. On the right, the silhouette target, it is in fact this central part with a prism that is the functional component. This will reflect the light back and forth to your FN module, which is on the firearm or the airsoft uh, weapon. Uh, our name is uh, Hera GmbH. We are based in Germany um, near Würzburg. Uh, so in my hand we have a 223 caliber. Um, it, 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 the, the name is CQR, what means close quarter rifle. It's in very short barrel, so we have a 7 inch barrel inside. Um, we have new uppers and new lowers. Um, it's a generation 3 lowers, also um, generation 3 handguards. We have a different uh, kind of, uh, of handguards, of different handguards. So the customer has the choice to, to um, build his own rifle. So this version, what, what's in my hand, is a very short rifle. So um, it's, it's, it's um, dedicated for, for close quarter situations, like uh, inside a house. This, this is a thumb hole stock. Um, it's a CQR stock. Um, here we have the short version, or the, the, the shortest, shortest version. We have some different kind of um, spacers in our program, so you can choose the lengths um, from 15 millimeters over 30 millimeters up to 45 millimeters. This is a fixed stock and thumb hole stock, so um, it was dedicated for um, also the US market um, for um, countries like um, um, California or New York State, so you have the choice to, to make the thumb hole completely closed with a plate in the front and in the end. So you have the choice um, between six different kinds of, uh, of, uh, of stocks. So this is a fixed stock, but we have also um, six position stocks in, uh, in our program. So here we, you see our uh, lower generation three, um, our upper. So you have the choice to order uppers with a forward assist or without. So this is an HUS, an upper system. The HGU is the commercial upper. So here we have an IRS-7 integrated rail system um, in 7-inch. 
you have a quarter rail on it, so you have the option um, on 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock um, to mount um, some additional um, tuning parts. This is a standard, standard cooking handle um, and a standard mill spec bolt carrier group inside. Um, new this year in our program, but it's not mounted on this rifle, is an, uh, an MV Mac release. Um, both sides you, you will see on the catalog or in, on the internet side for sure. So what you see here on the wall is a caliber 300 Whisper or Blackout. So um, it's a short version with a 7 inch, 7.5 inch uh, barrel on it. Um, and it's a an, uh, suppressor mounted on it. So it's our own system. So it's very small that you have the choice to mount it under our, uh, our hand guards. So, um, so on this system um, you have the you have the choice to mount some, some vertical grips or angle grips on the handguard and on other systems there is no, no choice to mount uh, systems on it. Stefan Schmidt, I'm from the Repress team from TAS Germany and we are featuring here on uh, Enforcetech our small arms trainer Sagittarius which is here with a mobile system. So as you see the few boxes, ruggedized boxes, you can use them wherever you want in any barracks, training camp, even in your office you would like to do that. And uh, it's in use with the German armed forces. Um, we use it for small arms training, so you use it with anti-tank weapon or anti-infrastructure uh, weapons small arms, you can uh, connect the systems that you can train a squad, whole squad or even more soldiers together. You can link it to a door gunner simulator, to a pilot simulation. You have used it in the Navy with a boarding team that at the same time they train on the ship for boarding. Another one is on the door gunner and the helicopter covering their advance. You can use the drones or other uh, systems uh, as well and all be can be interconnected in the simulation. We uh, work closely with the arms manufacturers. So on one hand, talking about the hardware, we can basically integrate any current weapon in use. So for example, maybe interesting for the French market, we have the HK416, even the newer versions from Heckelon Koch. We have pistols, we have the newest versions are cableless or will be cableless. So you can really use normal shooting training, they use your assault rifle, then change into your handgun and use that. So this is easily made. So we're working for example with the Dutch forces, some other partners uh, worldwide. So uh, we have a vast variety of solutions. So for, is it a Gatling, is it heavy machine gun, is it really a normal assault rifle or pistol? It's all integratable and uh, also not only the weapon itself, so the whole ballistics are integrated, the ammunition is integrated. We can really, a few seconds before the shot, really see where we aimed the, the soldier, how he really pressed the trigger, how his rifle was handled before and after. We can interact with voice, if you're doing, for example, for military uh, security forces, you can shout at the Atavas, they will react, like st hold, stand, or whatever they do. So we have a lot of varieties. We use um, the software behind that is the Cry Engine. That means even the users can adapt the scenarios. If you have the specs of uh, a building or a site, an environment, it can be really easily integrated with simulation quite quickly. Uh, we can do situational awareness shootings. We can have a really an exercise in Afghanistan or in Mali where we have in the surroundings. What you might see later is a typical sentinel uh, thing that you're in Paris, on guard, and something happens. So you train how to react in the team. It's not only the shooting, it's also all the handling and the maneuvering of the forces. The thing is with our weapons, we can create as realistic as it's really possible. So you can, you know, with some ammunitions like the anti-tank weapons, you need ranges. With the door gunner, you need flight hours. You need uh, safety on the side, on the shooting range. You need to transport your soldiers to the training range and so on and so forth. With that, you can prepare for the missions uh, in the barracks, 
in a container on a ship for the Navy, for example, the naval commanders can do that. And you can prepare for the stations. You can do the night sight, uh, of, yeah, night vision um, simulation as well. So we have you can shoot illumination rounds, you can use night vision goggles, uh, lasers, and it's really, really realistic how it's done. So what, what you see here is now that you can replay the whole exercise and for the whole group can watch. So you see which weapon aimed where uh, all the time. So you see how they reacted. Was he looking at another place? Did he? But I told him uh, engage at the top left or en engage uh, down there. That they really did that. And in the system, I showed you a bit later, you can see also for more detail how the exercise went. So it's not only an exercise uh, where you shoot, it's really you can see the whole ballistics, the handling of the weapons and the teamwork, how they looked at the directions and engaged the different targets.